You don't have to travel far around Tennessee to find towns that existed simply because of the railroads. Well, recently, Ken Wilshire found a landmark in Dixon that not only represents the influence of railroads in Tennessee, it also represents the life of a political icon. He is the man for you. Frank Clement was one of Tennessee's most beloved, powerful, and progressive governors in the state's history. Many say his political prowess and eloquent speech are unequaled. And yet, for a man of such greatness, his beginnings were humble. He was born here along the train tracks in this hotel managed by his parents. It's the Hotel Howbrook in the middle of downtown Dixon, and in 1920, Frank G. Clement came into the world right here in this room. This was the bedroom that Robert and Mabel had when they were helping Mrs. Goad manage the hotel, and this is the room where Frank was born. And we're very fortunate to have not only the bed he was born in, but his cradle uh, and several other pieces that belong to the family. Well, this is just the beginning of all the colorful and dynamic history you'll find here at the Clement Railroad Hotel Museum. Its executive director is Kate Hamilton. The Hotel Halbrook is one of the few remaining railroad hotels in the state of Tennessee. And as far as we know, it's the only one that houses a museum. Frank Clement was born here in 1920. His grandmother and his mother and father lived here in the hotel. They managed the hotel for Mr. J.T. Halbrook. And because Frank was born here, came back here, spent most of his youth here, graduated from high school, and then went on, as we all know, to become a very progressive, forward-thinking governor of the state of Tennessee during the 1950s and 60s. When Governor Clement was born, hotel rooms here at the Halbrook would set you back about 50 cents a night. And if you wanted a bath, it would be a quarter more. They served as respites for drummers, as they were called back then. Today, we call them sales reps. But after a busy day of drumming up business for their companies, they would head to the hotel. A railroad hotel always had what they called a drummer's room or a sample room. The drummers would get off at the depot, bring their cases to the hotel and set up and local merchants would come, look at what they were selling and place orders. The Hotel Halbrook's drummer's room is right off the lobby. It had its own entrance, so the drummers did not have to come through the lobby to set up their display cases. The Halbrook is about preserving the history of the Dixon area, the importance of the railroad, and Governor Clement's legacy. Each room is filled with memorabilia, from old photos to an office right out of the state capitol, appointed with the governor's old desk, gold phone, and much, much more. When you open the, those double doors at the front of the building and you step into the lobby, you are taken back in time to the 1920s. The lobby looks as it would have looked during the 1920s as a railroad hotel. We also have the dining room, and it is set up as the dining room, again, would have looked uh, in the 1920s and 1930s as a railroad hotel. On the first floor, we have our railroad exhibit, again, emphasizing the importance of the railroad to this area. We also have exhibits on Dixon County Commerce, Dixon County and regional history, particularly with the iron ore industry. Hello. Hey. Hi, I'm uh, Derek. But it's I'm the tour guides, or docents as they're called, the who really tell the story Park. as part of the guided um, tours. There's a little bit about the history of Dixon and the Civil War here, and the railroad. And uh, since nice Dixon's day. a railroad town and the Hallbrook is a railroad museum, it sure makes sense to have a model train exhibit. It's a real crowd and even more of a kid pleaser. The Halbrook has been under development for many years now, and according to Dixon County historian Alan Reagan, it will have a positive impact on future generations. We feel very fortunate to have a facility like the Halbrook that 
will not only allow us to hold the artifacts that we have, those that will come in, and to be able to tell those stories of our history. So what would Governor Clement think about his birthplace today? I think he would see what we're doing as being able to remember our past, to preserve it, to interpret it, so that future generations can learn from it and thus make even better decisions and better communities.